So there was a question this week on Facebook uh, about creating a custom header for uh, a blog post. So this is a blog post from Authority Hacker. They're using Thrive Themes. Uh, they're a very good blog and post podcast as well. Uh, and this is one of the example given and so this blog post has this particular hero section uh, with title subtitle author and dates like this and then there's a, an image and it's on a fixed background uh, so I'll try to replicate that with thrive themes on my own blog and create a blog post out, blog post out of it uh, so let's give it a try so I'll go into my on my site so I've added the new blog post uh, put the title in I've put a featured image that's the default you should have a featured image so when you share it's there as well it's gonna be on your uh, blogs uh, index uh, page as well uh, and then if we just save draft uh, and we look at it by default it looks like this so we have the uh, title of the post the um, uh, featured image and then the rest of the text would go here and you can add the uh, headers and, and pay you know other uh, content in there author and um, and the uh, comment section uh, of course it could be different depending on your uh, theme this is using the uh, ignition team from thrive themes um, most of the theme will have something very similar to that uh, and then we have the sidebar here that shows up by default for most people. Uh, so the idea is to remove, uh, I had people asking me, I want like this arrow section with the sidebar, but it's one or, one or the other. Uh, maybe there would be option of moving this down, but I think it's just better to get rid of it. This section in general, if you look at a video recording of your uh, website, whether with a hot jar or full story, you'll see that when, and actually if you analyze yourself looking at a blog post, you will start reading there and going to the content and you will basically ignore whatever is there. You might come back to that when you're finished, but usually uh, it's not even looked at uh, that much. You should, I've seen a lot of clients as well, their conversion rate on the uh, sidebar widget is not very high compared to the other type of um, opt-ins we can have with Thrive Themes. Uh, so um, it's not really necessary uh, to, to, my, to my taste anyway. Uh, so for this exercise, we want this to be a full section. Uh, so let's try this. So the first step I'm gonna do uh, is go to the bottom of uh, the post when we edit it, and there's the Thrive Themes options and uh, the display options, and then there's a few of them. So the first thing we'll do is set it to full width, and I'll, I'll do it one by one so we see how it looks. So I'm gonna save draft and just refresh here. So putting it to full width, basically we get rid of the sidebar completely, and it says full width, but it's it stays within the container of the theme, so, uh, you know, and it's responsive, so it's gonna adjust for mobile, uh, but it says within a container like that. So uh, the next thing we wanna do is remove this. Uh, if we go here, so post title, we're gonna hide it. And the featured image as well, no featured image. And that way we're gonna hide this. Uh, the, this display share button, we'll see how, how it goes. Uh, we could switch it off as well and use something else. Uh, so let's save dress draft here and then just refresh. So now we got rid of the featured image and the title and we have the content itself. So we're in uh, Thrive Architect right now. Uh, so we can start working right on this. So we can take a background section, bring it right to, at the top. And so we have the page section. It's gonna stay by default within the frame of the blog post. And what we can do is set it to uh, stretch to, the to fit screen width and then we could put like this and then we can force it to a color so the example we add red uh, so let's see here i'll take let's say this dark blue and click apply so you'll see here that i do have this container and something custom i've done on my blog to have this drop shadow and this border you might not have it depending on your blog layout but in my case if i want to get rid of this what i could do is 
um, I could use negative margin so I could go in there and I'm, I've got this background uh, section selected so I'll just use this like this and whoops so just bring it to the top like this and what I'm gonna do as well so this is the original text that I had I want this to be in uh, you know full width because now with this border it doesn't look that great so what I'm gonna do is drag another background section put it below here put it full width set it to white so just select to white like this and just so we can see it I'm gonna do it like this and I'm gonna move the text that I had here I'm gonna move it right in there so now we have our text and we still have this border and you see here so what we could do is uh, take this and use a negative margin on the bottom part and just hide this like this so at least now we've got our section we could play with margins as well or padding here so at least th there is a little gradient but I think it looks better uh, than you know by default so again you m probably won't have this uh, problem depending on how, how your theme is uh, customized uh, now what we can do is use uh, the different elements of Thrive Architect and build our section so the idea is to override uh, uh, you know the is, is to write the the title of the blog posts and uh, the date manually and the author uh, and ideally we want to so if we put the header here put h1 uh, so it replaces the h1 as well so we could set it to white and let's say we call it and we can do basic basically what we want uh, if I take this here I could uh, vertically align it so it's like this uh, I could have a subtitle so I could go and drag something here center it so that's h2 and put it to white here and say uh, of course uh, so I could change here some of the uh, spacing and then I could add if we go back to this one it's basically so here they I, I'm not sure we can ins inspect see what how they've done it so it's basically they, they've just typed uh, the information there uh, we could uh, set it to something else but I could go in and type And today is May 15, 2018. So you can have a look on your other blog post, make sure it's consistent uh, and and uniform throughout your website. But it could be something like this. We could definitely play with the layout. So basically you can do whatever we want. And then it's a question of adding an image maybe. Okay, so instead of adding an image, uh, I'll use the background video, see how it looks like. I'm doing it straight up there, so let's see how that would look. So I've got this, this a nice video here. And I'm going to remove this. Okay, so I've uh, used this video background here, type the uh, URL there. What I'm going to do is just maybe put it, I, I could leave it that width. Uh, what I'm going to do just to make sure that we can read the text is to put this uh, layer on top. So I'm going to put radial like this. So that's another trick that you can use. So in the middle, I'm going to put it darker in the middle so just so we can 
increase the contrast there. It doesn't affect too much. So you see by default would be like this and then we're gonna just add something like this. Of course this video is probably not the ideal one, uh, the ideal video because there's different type of, uh, sometimes it's dark uh, and sometimes it's quite white, but this, I think it's gonna be still quite good. Uh, and let's see, so just save this. So that's an example of, of having a custom uh, custom header for a blog post. And what you could do as well is take this, uh, clone it, and then reuse it for some of the section of your uh, blog post as well. So uh, instead of having just at the top, you could have it somewhere else. Uh, so that's it. Uh, hope you've learned something. Uh, you can use any type of content that Thrive Architect has to offer. Uh, I'm going to uh, post this right uh, in there. Uh, so you'll actually see it and I, I might write some text as well but it'll give you an idea of what it looks like uh, on uh, the blog post so uh, if you're watching this from youtube have a link uh, have a look at the links in the comment section or in the description so you can have a look at the blog post itself that's it for today